the Reds are in talks to sign Kefren Thuram. According to reports, Liverpool held a meeting with representatives of nice midfielder Kefren Thuram about a potential move to the Premier League. So, at what stage is Liverpool in the transfer of Kefren Thuram? Thuram has made a total of 138 games on the Allianz Riviera since joining from Monaco in 2019. Although his contract has not expired for another two years, he has been highlighted in recent weeks as an ideal target for Jurgen Klopp at Merseyside. In April, the Independent first highlighted the Reds' interest in the 22-year-old actor. Boss Klopp thought it fit perfectly with the profile of the central reinforcements he asked Borussia Dortmund to withdraw from the race to sign Jude Bellingham. Journalist Jonathan Johnson has claimed since then that the French international is still being scrutinized too much by the FSG. And now with new updates, there's a good chance he'll be on his way to Anfield soon. According to French sources, Liverpool have been in talks for a summer deal for Thuram for a few weeks to explore what it takes to complete a transition. He made his moves more concrete than others. The Reds have already held a meeting with the defensive midfielders' managers and it was stated that the idea to join was appreciated. Nice is not ready to sell, and while it remains to be seen what the price tag will be, there is expected to be a lot of competition for its signature. Liverpool are clearly serious about signing Thuram, although they seem close to signing Alexis McAllister. It's no surprise that he was targeted by talent scout Jocek Kuli, as he was called a stubborn tackler. Therefore, the board of directors should be able to successfully secure their services. The star of Nice, who earned £14,000 a week, played an average of 1.5 fights per game in the league last season. He also contributed directly to 10 goals, scoring 8 assists and 2 goals in all competitions. This shows that he also poses a threat at the other end of the field. Even if he wasn't always on the leaderboards, Thuram ranked higher than his peers with his act of creating 23 shots in 2022-2023. He is constantly trying to produce quality moments for his teammates, so he has the ability to positively impact the game both defensively and offensively. Based on this season, Liverpool seems to be a player suitable for playing the missing roles in the midfield. The French player is currently listed by Transfermarkt as €32 million. Euros. But it wouldn't be surprising if Nice wanted more than that price tag. He is only 22 years old and has a great career ahead of him. It looks exciting for Buda to take it to a whole new level under Klopp. Klopp may leave Thiago for Yuri Tilemans. Liverpool are due to sign multiple midfielders after a mass departure this summer. Many names have been put forward recently, but Tilemans, which has come to the fore recently, seems quite exciting. Leicester City have reportedly parted ways with Yuri Tilemans, whose contract will expire soon. So what's the latest about Yuri Tilemans going to Liverpool? Graham Bailey says the Belgium national team player is a player that Reds manager Jurgen Klopp loves. A few months ago, Football Insider claimed that Liverpool were planning a move for the 26-year-old, while more recently James Pearce of The Athletic stated that his signing was indeed a possibility. Tilemans recently published a heartfelt farewell letter to Foxes confirming his departure at the end of his contract. Liverpool's new sporting director, George Schmadtke, has had his eye on Tilemans as he seeks reinforcements after James Milner, Naby Keita and Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain have completed their contracts at Anfield. So should Liverpool sign Yuri Tilemans? Tilemans and Leicester have not had a good season by any stretch of the imagination as they are relegated from the Premier League after a miserable slump in one season. However, Liverpool has had success in rushing for players who had previously been limited to decline. For example, Andy Robertson was brought in from Hull City and Jimmy Wijnaldum from Newcastle United. Both players came from teams in relegation and played central roles during the most famous period in Merseyside's modern history. Earning £35,000 a week, Tilemans was once described by former Leicester coach Brendan Rodgers as one of the best midfielders in Europe. He managed to become one of the most intelligent and dynamic midfielders in the game. Also described as a complete midfielder by Martin Keown, Tilemans maintained his 7 average rating according to SofaScore despite his club's troubles. He completed 82% of his passes, averaging one key pass and two tackles per game. As for his entire career at King Power Stadium, 
he has been instrumental in winning the FA Cup and Community Shield. He scored a resounding hit against Chelsea in the FA Cup final and made a name for himself. It looks like he might be the dream heir to Thiago Alcantara in Merseyside. The 32-year-old pass master signed a contract from Bayern Munich for £20 million in 2020. Described by Michael Owen as amazing for his ball-playing skills, Thiago was indeed among the top 3% of midfielders in Europe's top five leagues last year. Like Thiago, Tilemans isn't perhaps the most mobile of the aces, but instead thrives on occupying half-quarters and really uses football acumen to select appropriate passes and showcase his superior technique. Liverpool fans yearn for a stronger and more energetic midfield. But that doesn't mean Tilemans can't contribute effectively to it. His composure and cunning can combine elegantly with the likes of Alexis McAllister, who is on the verge of entering the final stage with the Reds from Brighton. So his role as Thiago's heir may only bear fruit for Klopp, who will benefit from a distinctive and variegated midfield. The number of games Thiago has played this season has dropped considerably. The Spanish conductor showed a lot of influence in the matches he played. There was a real difference between Liverpool with and without Thiago. However, due to his age and current injury problems, he is not fully confident in the upcoming season. So while Klopp needed a replacement, new sporting director George Schmack may have found the best option for him. Moreover, it will come for free. Luis Diaz considered this season difficult as the Colombian looked to next season. Luis Diaz described his campaign as a difficult one. But he is confident that next season will be even better for him and his Liverpool teammates. The former Porto man's first full season as the Red was hampered by an ongoing serious knee injury during their 3-2 loss to Arsenal in October. After relapse in December, the 26-year-old returned to action only in April. Until the last few weeks of the season, Liverpool struggled for consistency and therefore Jurgen Klopp is expected to be extremely active in the transfer market this summer. Number 23 looks forward to what will happen next. Boys, although many lessons have been learned, a difficult season has come to an end. I want to thank you all for your support during my recovery and the entire team at every game. I'm sure next season will be even better and with more celebration. See you next season, he said. The Colombian national team player's speed and skill on the left flank was greatly missed when he was on the treatment table. It's only been clear from the past few weeks that his stubborn and direct style of play has given Klopp a new dimension to his side. There is no doubt that Liverpool were a much stronger team with Diaz on the pitch. Despite a few positive moments, it's a campaign that won't go down in history this season, but it could keep the main stars in shape. If some quality additions are made to the roster in the coming weeks, there's no reason not to buy more silverware next season. Missing the top four places was a huge blow, but at least it gives Klopp a chance to win the only trophy he has yet to lift as a Reds boss. On the other hand, it is a matter of curiosity how Diaz will perform next season. If Darwin Nunez Klopp is the first choice, then Gakpo's positioning on the left wing is one of the options. If Diaz's comeback isn't spectacular, his throne may be shaky.